All right, friends. <coughs> Excuse me. It's getting colder. What happened there? Oh my gosh. Somebody topped a tree that didn't need topping. Wow, we got snow on this. Oh my. There's snow, friends. Snow capped mountains now. It's a little chilly, to be honest with you. Look at all the goats. Back down to Rob's place, friends. See you on site. Okay, as you can see, so here's, here's the trees. And they're actually, well, yeah, the, the whole root system's been ripped off. They did excavating here, you see. I think my buddy, the Indian, over there, that's Noel's, Noel's place, right? Where the carving was done. I was gonna, you, and you can't fall trees that are like this, friends. Like you just <laughs> don't even try it. <laughs> if the, When they're like this, they can't go this way. Do you know what I mean by that? They can't, they can't go this way. They have to go this way. <laughs> because as soon as you try and fall this tree or these trees that way or that way, they won't go either way. Friends, I wanna clarify that. That's strictly if they're if they're limb bound or up against like like limb bound basically limbs and all that. If they're standing, there's no limbs on them and they're just two poles side by side. Yes, you can definitely absolutely even if there's foliage on the front, but they're not hooked together. If they're hooked together like that, like all limb bound, it's gonna, just going to counterbalance one another. It's a very interesting thing. It happened to me years ago, and I was like what what is going on this tree is clear and actually the front one was leaning i was like what the back tree was literally holding it up friends because as it tried to leave the limbs right think about that it, it i know it sounds funny but friends it's a weird one I'll i'll put something together one day and show you what i mean by that but the bottoms have to be you have to have hinge wood. If one of the bottoms broke off, of course it would go, but it would probably go sideways or this or that. But when they're limb bound, that's the, they won't they won't do they won't do this. They'll do that. Absolutely. Am I making sense? Let me know, and I'll I'll see if I can set something up. <laughs> I learned that years ago. And then uh, I, I'm not sure what I'll do here yet. Whether I will even attempt this. We were gonna have a machine here, but actually, you know what? Now that I look at this, oh, geez, I, I, don't, I don't know about that, frenzies. You can see it, eh? Yeah. So really, is it possible? Could I cut this tree off? I would have to climb it and tie it together. Hmm. Let me think. Oh, I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to explain something to folks too. Um, some folks in the uh, comment section, they actually thought the limb that fell out of the tree was the limb that I actually moved uh, when I was up in the, up in the, in the first tree. It actually wasn't friends, but I would see why you would, you would think that because you saw me manhandle it and you figured, yeah, well, that wasn't the limb and I'll show you why. Look at, here's the limb that fell. If anybody remembers, look at that, just jab right in the ground. Here's the limb that fell. It's close to 20 feet long. It, it is friends. It's, it's super long, probably 16 foot, 12, 16 foot. If I'm not mistaken, is a green limb. It is a green limb. So now, I'll show you. Friends, take a look as we walk up here. That right on the left-hand side of the screen, an upside-down limb. Up in the tree. It's hard to see, but you'll see it. I can actually see it. It's right there. There it is. So, <laughs> it will... Oh, I think I found it. That's interesting. 
Oh, it's right there for crying out loud, friends. It's right there. <laughs> here it is. It's right here. This is it. Remember? It was hung upside down in the tree. There it is. This is it right here. This is the limb. There it is. Right there. That's her. Because there. See? Remember? It was upside down and it had foliage in it. Take a look in the video. Take a look back there. You'll see. In it. Take a look in the video. Take a look back there. You'll see it. So that was not the limb, friends. Here's the limb that I was going to let go out of the tree. And I didn't bother because I knew that I'd probably be worse off. Right there, because as I fall it, that limb right there, you see? It's gonna scrape the roof, I don't want that. Because now we can move this, because the busted up, all this, they got this stacked here, and they got that maple in there, and this thing is gonna bust, it's already broken, look at the top, friends, that top's broken right out of it, and it's gonna land on the shack. So he's taken the one maple, one little maple tree, and them cedars, and he's done. And now he's gonna be safe in here with his new structure, so that's the plan. Okay, we're we're just gonna go up get up here go over here and cut that limb because if I don't it's gonna smack that it's gonna smack the house okay We go. So you guys heard the plan, I guess, eh? Well, I'll walk you through it. And the reason he wants it out there is because it's the back 40. And he don't want, he, he just he just doesn't want the cleanup in there. I mean, here's the maple, right? Look at it. There it is. It's leaning on the house drastically, right? Here's the structure. I just went up it and cut them limbs off. But look at it. The, the top's already broken out of it. It's leaning hard into his yard. It's a maple, which is not a good thing. Look at that one. The freaking top's busted right off and hanging there sideways. Look. There it is. So I'm going to cut this one up, wedge it up, 
let it sit there. I might even go back cut first and hammer it with that cedar. Then it's all out there. That's the plan. Let me get set up. Okay, that thing's cut up. See that? That thing's cut right up. And it's leaning right over our heads. Like right over our heads. So, here's our deal. So this is our program. The tree's relatively straight up and down, but we're going in there and I've got to slip it by that fir tree in order for this program to work. So it's actually gonna go right across that hump of uh, F and B there. And, and here's, our, here's our ordeal back here. You can see what it is. I mean, it is completely just a mess and probably grafted all up in there, friends. Okay, so let's get undercuts in.
like, you know, big and strong, like if it was to go like this and hit on this side, it wouldn't be good. I need to get on this side. You know what I mean? It's a tight squeeze. It is. And we got that. friends so we're set up uh, just this is a pretty good uh, shot right here for everything you, you'll see everything go down nicely here uh, I don't think I need to be any any closer or, or nothing like that so but it, it will give you the whole picture here so let, let's just run with that yeah there we go
Good job, Billy. Thanks. Really good job. Thanks, buddy. So Th those trees would not have done this, right? We we got that established. They just they won't do it. It even played weird tricks on me there a little bit, to be honest with you, because of the of the tension through the years of it being pulling. See, so look at this beautiful piece of hinge wood right here. Beautiful strip right across the tree. Just we had we we had actually inches to spare. That's why I was up on that reef cut, and I'll show you why. That limb that just cleared there, and we did real nice, Rob. Looks like we did great. It's good. So that limb, there it is right there. That's that one right there that I cut off. It's big. You hit that. You hit the side of the house with that. Boy, oh boy, I'll tell you. It's not going to be pretty. It was actually noticeable, wasn't it? Yeah. I know. I'll tell you what happens to me. There we go, friends. So you you guys have heard me talk about uh, when when my breath gets when it gets like that, that only happens to me when there's major, um, I guess it's adrenaline. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't happen to me hardly ever, but on, on, on situations like this where failure could, could reap wonderful, <laughs> terrible, you know, circumstances, uh, results. Uh, this was one of those scenarios because that maple was leaning hard this way um, I was moving really slow. You'll notice in the video, I just asked Rob if he noticed it. He said, yeah, I, I did. I did notice it. it was noticeable that I move slow. It's because my wind, my, I lose my wind in, in, and it must be adrenaline that takes it away. I've talked about this before on the channel. A few of you will remember. Uh, I, I almost, so there's been times where it's been a lot of haywire and this, where I just shut myself off, take a break, catch my wind and go back in. But it literally wipes me friends. Like I'm, I'm literally moving super slow because I can't move any quicker. It's, I, I, go, I turn into methodical. Um, I, don't, I don't know, I, I think it's adrenaline. I think it's adrenaline because if I had a fail here, it would have been right here, right? On the shop or got hung up and created some rollout program or, you know what I mean? So anyways, came out like a dream, but I was breathing slow on that one. You'll notice me on the stump. I'm moving real slow, <laughs> which ain't a bad thing. So friends, I don't think I showed you this and I may have, and I, and I want to, I couldn't fit it in the last video and I, and I want to do it. Friends, we're down at Rob's. I just finished the job there. He had a, we were going to use a machine, but I ended up figuring a plan to get that cedar out and it all worked out just wonderful. And I got some great footage for you, but I'm telling you something, who knows what this is. It's come out of a mill or something like that. It is so huge and so thick. It's going to be like a fire pit, but let me tell you something. Let me show you something here now. Watch this friends. This is the kind of stuff, it's even got holes in it for air. It'll freaking, listen to this thing. Listen. That literally sounds like a church bell. Friends, who knows what this is? It's out of a mill or something. Here's, here's like um, USA. This says made in USA, I think. Yeah, made in USA. I don't know what this is, but look at it. It's massive. I don't know what that says, but it is incredible. And it's going to be a fire pit. And I think there might be one for me. My buddy's got it. I just talked to Rob about it. I'm going to get it. Look at these bombardiers. Remember? I don't know if I showed you that in the last video. I don't think I did. He's got a couple of these bombardiers. Just crazy. That's nuts. This one over here was a school bus. Did I tell you guys about that? Look at that. It's a freaking school bus from uh, Ontario. No. Oh, Alberta. 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 1952 it was built. 1952 it was built by Bombardier and a farmer ran kids around to a church, an old church that was for school. Yes. Right till 1969. Till 69 was last it time. Had, it had a license plate on it. That's incredible. I Alberta. Think it has a license plate. I bet you do. Isn't that incredible? And it had the bus lights. That's, that oh, do you got the... That, that flashed over and... Oh, wow. It's just neat stuff you see, eh? But that, I can't... I'm going to get one of those. I Hopefully, these are one left because I got a nice fire pit. Anyway, we're good to hear, Rob. Thanks again. Thank you. You're more, more than welcome, old buddy. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Oh, I try, buddy. We'll see you on the next one.